We've made it to the final rift in Multiverses Season 1. It's been an interesting journey so far. Some things I like about the game, some things I don't since it's returned from beta. But I think it's about time we put an end to this reign of terror. 1 versus 1, Leader and Stripe Swarm. So this rift is kind of a mashup of the other rifts. You're redoing all of the boss fights from before, but I'm assuming they're going to be a little bit different. Also the opportunity to play as other characters. So, I'm playing as the Iron Giant, and I'm fighting Stripe. Now, I've got my super-powered mode. I don't know what you call it. But I can shoot rockets. I can kick. I can do this kick. Ooh. Got him out of there. That was satisfying. I've tried so many times to spike people in this game. You know, slap them down, get them out of bounds. Fairly difficult to do that in this. Everybody's jumping around and dodging and stuff, so that felt good. I don't really know how to play as Iron Giant, so I'm just kind of chewing on scrap metal and pulling cars out of, I don't know. Well, I, I grabbed him. I didn't know you could grab people in this game. Maybe it's just Iron Giant. But hey, if scrap metal won't work, giant drop kicks will. One versus zero. Tasmanian. Devil versus two melon heads. Yes, Taz, we got this. We can do this. Now, this melon head boss was one of the craziest boss fights I've ever experienced in all of video games before, so having to fight two of them, and this this puts Elden Ring to shame. I mean, what is this? This is this is next level boss fight gameplay. I'm going to turn these melon heads into a melon sandwich. Is a melon sandwich a real thing? I'm sure somebody out there in the history of humanity has put melons on toast or bread or whatever before and ate it. I'm sure that's been done. These are just the kind of invigorating conversations you have when you play a game like Multiverses, you know? Not like it's so difficult, this boss fight, you know, it's so, it's getting, you know, the muscles moving, the blood pumping to my brain. I'm thinking tactically in order to, to take on this boss, but that also just makes me think about, you know, some other things in life, more conceptual ideas, like if people put melons on bread. I also think about what people are reacting to what I'm saying online, because I'm saying a lot of weird things. It could be weirder, but hey, that's how you win a match in multiverses. Boss fight, the Megalodog and Air Jaws. This is crazy. Tom and Jerry, we can do it. We can beat him. He's not, he's not taking any damage. I don't know how to do that move, but Jerry was on a rocket for a second. Come on. Wow. We're like not doing much damage here. Come on. Come on, we could do this. I know it's not as tough as the melon heads. Those are the hardest bosses in all of video games, but we can still get this. Come on. Let's do it. He's almost halfway there. It's about a third of the way, I'd say. Oh, we got hit. I mean, we have three lives, so we're good. We just put some cheese there. Do reindeer shark dogs like cheese? I don't know. That didn't work anyway, so whatever. Come on. All right, he's over halfway now. We can get him. We can get him. I mean, I, kn I know we're going to get him anyway. This is just taking way longer than I thought because he keeps doing this stupid move where he goes into the ground and jumps up. And we just have to wait for him to pop out because we can't do anything. All right, and then he's gonna go right back into it. Oh, no, he actually bit the air. Whoa, that was a different move this time. This is, he's doing different stuff. This is crazy. Come on, there we go. Another boss fight completed. Thank you, Tom and Jerry. Undying shield and destroy the pylons, that's right. A rematch between Finn and Jason, and Jason is much bigger this time, so that's, that's worrying. But well, we can do it. We just have to we have, just have to destroy the pylons, you know? I don't know if you guys have seen the Friday the 13th movies, but you know, it's it's a very iconic scene where where Finn from Adventure Time destroys the pylons in order to defeat Jason Voorhees. That I'm not even kidding this time was the easiest boss fight I've ever done. 1 versus 0. It's weird. Clearly, there is there are two people here. We've got Banana Guard versus Agent Smith. Another iconic movie scene recreated here. I don't know what's more iconic. Finn 
versus Jason Voorhees or Banana Guard versus Agent Smith in Dexter's Laboratory? From Dexter's Laboratory. All of his bullets missed. Look, Agent Smith, your whole character is a guy with a gun in this game, and you missed all three of those shots. You gotta do better, man. You can say the same thing about me missing this spear attack, but look. I'm gonna win in the end. I don't think you are. I'm just saying. I'm saying a lot of things. I'm just, I, you know, I don't know what it is about this game where my brain just turns off and it like kind of just turns to mush and then it, you know, just leaks out of my mouth and I'm just saying things that don't really make sense, but I, that's a sacrifice to being the greatest multiverses player the world has ever seen. It's a sacrifice I gotta make. You know, I gotta give you guys the greatest content on earth. And that involves being the best multiverses player. So, not everything I say will make sense. Or maybe in some strange esoteric way, you could, uh, you know, listen to my wisdom about Banana Guard fighting Matrix Batman and use it to improve your life. I don't know. I know I beat, I know I beat him though. I had the Black Adam ring out thing. I just changed the hierarchy of power in this multiverses match. I'm never gonna let that joke die. That is crazy to me that Dwayne Johnson just like came in and was like, hey, DC, you got a dying franchise, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take over and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make things right. And then everybody hated the movie or just didn't watch it. I didn't even watch it. And uh, yeah, the franchise died after that. Come on, Banana Guard, we can do this. Is Banana Guard just one word in those subtitles? That is not grammatically correct. Hold on, I'm gonna check. Next time the subtitles pop up, I'll see. Come on, say something. Say your iconic banana guard lines. Uh, uh, I'm gonna banana your guard. Come on, say it so I can. See, it's one. It's one word there. I don't know if that's canon to the uh, the whole the whole uh, advent. I think he's from Adventure Time. The whole Adventure Time lore that banana guard is just one word. I don't know, but it could be a mistake. They gotta they gotta fix that. They gotta balance that out. It's very important for this fighting game that they fix the spelling. Boss fight, shock floor. I'm about to change the hierarchy of power in this boss fight. I think I made that joke already, but I'm doing this again. We got this, come on. Now, the last time I did this boss, oh my goodness, you guys have no idea. I mean, punching these fists was just incredible. And then it got even more difficult. They actually put an arrow on the screen telling me where to punch them. I don't know how I, how I beat that boss fight. But now I have to occasionally jump. I mean, in a platform fighting game, I have to jump. That's, that is something unheard of. Okay, ignore the fact that I missed the dodge and I still got electrified, it doesn't matter. This electricity shouldn't hurt me at all. I'm Black Adam. I've got the power of Egyptian gods that I can't remember the names of. Come on, we can do this. Oh my gosh, he still hit me. This is crazy. How does he know where to hit me? All right. It's not even glowing on the screen. He needs he, this is this is this is a broken boss fight, guys. They got to they got to the developers need to fix this. If there isn't a giant red arrow over my character, they shouldn't know how, where to hit me. That's broken. They got to balance that out. I don't know how he beat this boss, guys. That was that was just so dangerous. Triple threat. The name of this rift. I decided you will we'll use Velma for this one. We can do it. We can fight Agent Smith and Jason Voorhees at the same time with the Joker sitting there on the on the Game of Thrones. The throne of games from the Game of Thrones. Why is it called the Game of Thrones if there's only one throne? I'm sure there are several thrones and people are like, you should watch the show. But I have yet to watch it. So all I'm saying is I see one throne and I'm playing one game and that game is multiverses. So if they want to be lore accurate to multiverses, they should retroactively retitle the show Game of Thrones. You know, sometimes I think to myself, is it worth it to just stop the recording and say other things that make sense? But then I'm like, I'm already here. I'm already doing the work. This is authentic gameplay, authentic commentary that you know, you've never seen before in a video. And if I'm not giving my authentic commentary, how will people know the strategies required to be the best multiverses player. I mean, if I'm not talking and rambling to myself as I'm just annihilating these characters, see, got him out of there. 
how are people going to know how to replicate these strategies for themselves? I'm actually making the world a better place by saying these things. Let's get the mystery van in here. Mm, actually, I changed my mind. We're going to save it for the Joker. Hold on. There we go. See? I just had to fake him out. I said I was going to do it, and then I didn't do it. That was actually just to trick everybody. Definitely not because I changed my mind as I was talking. It didn't even do anything to Joker, so whatever. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Get him, get him out of here. Come on. I'm, I'm glad he's actually patient, allowing me to attack. He's, he's like, he knows that this is something that I'm recording to share with the world. And he's like, you know what? He's allowing me to basically just give you guys a tutorial on how to play multiverses in the best way possible. And part of playing multiverses the best way possible is having no idea what to talk about. And just rambling to yourself, non-stop. You know, I don't actually have to talk. I could sit here and, you know, go 10 to 30 seconds without saying anything. I'm allowed to do that. But that's just, you know, it's just not, it's just not what I, what I'm going to do here. I got to keep hitting him with sass and, um, working my way up the battle pass. Yup. Actually, I'm not. I've, I haven't, I haven't done any of the grinding they want you to do. This game is too grindy. At least at the time of doing this, I just don't feel like doing any of the grinding work. But hey, we have ended the reign of terror, the triple threat. You may have defeated us, but this is only just the beginning. This is only just beginning, I should say. A storm has been unleashed in this multiverse, something none of us can escape. What Computer Boy said, you can't just squeeze the toothpaste back into the tube. You can try really hard, though. Best to just embrace the mayhem before the whole house of cards comes a tumbling down. What about you, Jason? Any monologues or threatening promises to close out the season? Do they know that this is a season of a video game? Poetic as ever, JC Boy. Heh <laughs> Joker's got a lot of history with people named Jason. You're both idiots. Well, that's the that's it. That's it for uh, season one of Multiverses. You know what? Not a bad game. There's definitely a lot of room to improvement, a lot of room for improvement, but uh, not bad, not bad at all.